when testifying during the Commission of Inquiry into the RPNGC January 10th civil unrest, the Director for Dog Unit, Acting Superintendent Daniel Langen, said the RPNGC is not managing the Directorate up to the standard required to enable the Directorate to perform its duties effectively. He said this wasn't properly managed because there was a split in both management and operation divisions having their own directors, which was not supposed to be the case. In the provinces, I do both of them, operation and administration. In the dog directorate, I'm doing only administrative duties only and then and All right, not so operation. You, 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 I... He said police officers attached to that unit are paid differently from the RPNGC Alesco pay system. Usually, their pay is diverted from the annual funding distributed to the directorate annually. Or are they paid separately That's from the police budget? That's a normal, normal salary, sir. Yangen said they receive about $2.387 million annually for their operation. However, this funding can only be used in NCD, while units outside of NCD face funding issues to better function. Utilities, rentals, and come down to capital formation. Okay, okay. So you say the, the dog directorate is assigned 2.837 million? Yes, sir. The director said that currently there are six dog units located in Rabaul, Mount Hagen, Gorka, Le, Wiwek, and Medang, while the main unit is in Port Mosby. Challenges they face include having no trained dogs, limited manpower, and no funding to operate. He urged the RPNGC management to reaffirm its commitment to building this directorate due to its significant role in tracking down crime through the use of trained police dogs.